Hello world, um, I'm in a bit of a mess here because it's nearly Christmas and I still have got all my uh, present wrapping to do. In fact it's the 23rd of December and uh, I'm going off for Christmas and uh, I've still got a whole ton of stuff to do. Um, but I thought I'd just sort of uh, share something with you. Now at the beginning of November I wrote to Riga praising their products and whatnot uh, and uh, you know giving them sort of my suggestions and things like that. Some of the stuff that you've heard on this channel in fact. Um, and uh, I did ask them, I explained to them my problems about sort of trying to source some uh, Riga Duet cable and actually trying to hear it before I bought it. And uh, they very kindly sent me some, okay? Now I asked them for a two meter and a one meter length. It was stupid of me. <laughs> I'm one of these people, <laughs> You know, if I go on to Sainsbury's or something like that, you know, I'm the I'm the person that can order one banana, thinking that I've ordered a kilo of bananas. You know, I my my sort of uh, uh, kind of sense of units is an, of of measurement is absolutely dire. Okay, I must have had more speaker cable when I've you know been to the shop and bought it, kind of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've had to move my hi-fi cable back. I've made this video several times and I did actually uh, record myself uh, un unpacking this cable, okay? But um, to show you how thin and light it is, it came in an envelope that big, which is not even A4 size, okay? It's something like B5 or something like that. And the, inside this bag, basically three meters of speaker cable. Okay, now it's incredibly thin. You can see it over there. Um, as I say, you know, the, 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 the first time I unpacked it, the, the video had no sound. Okay, because for some reason or other, I'd got the uh, quick time uh, on the wrong setting. Okay, and it basically wasn't recording me speaking. So I can't show you me actually uh, opening it up. Okay, uh, this is the cable that's just come off it by contrast, okay? This is QED XT40 cable, okay? It's thick, it's, you know, it's malleable and stuff like that. And I've got a feeling that because of the cynicism that surrounds uh, speaker cables and whether or not they really make a difference or not, um, then, you, you know, I, I suppose the, the punter that's paying a little bit extra uh, for, you know, to upgrade the bell wire that might have come with a system or, you know, be on a, you know, a, a crappy little uh, sort of, you know, all in one system. Uh, you know, to, to convince that punter to upgrade the stuff, they make it like this, big, solid, chunky. It's not as big, solid, chunky as some that I can name, name, like a five, uh, but um, it's, you know, it, it's still solid. It still looks like, you know, you've paid money for the cable, okay? Now, Riga, on the other hand, bless their cotton socks, they put all the money to, you know, what's actually inside this kind of, you know, rubbery kind of surround, okay? I.e. the copper core, okay? Um, and so therefore, you know, the, the actual kind of material that they use to cover it, while it'll insulate it, while it's nice and rubbery and everything, and you won't get an electric shock from it, okay? And it will provide adequate shielding in terms of, you know, interference and stuff like that. It just looks very, very thin. And, and actually it's quite nice really, because you can maneuver it round corners and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it doesn't look quite so much okay as I say I haven't ordered enough of this stuff and so I've had to move my stereo system where I don't want it okay so um, at the moment you know I've got to sort that out somehow you know and Riga I promise I will actually buy some this time okay <laughs> all right um, but you know it's, it's given me enough to do an evaluation of it okay um, you know as, as I say you know there is this cynicism around cables do they make a difference okay I can tell you you know because I've had enough systems now and I've had enough different types of cable as well to tell you that they do make a difference okay um, 
And, uh, you know, in this flat, okay, I've got a sloping ceiling, I've got a tiny room, okay, and I've got, you know, uh, lots of corners and stuff like that. And uh, so there are places in the flat where the bass booms and there are places in the flat where, um, you, you know, you don't get enough bass, okay, and very, you know, few areas where it's just right, okay. The thing is, where the bass booms is out on the bathroom, uh, out next to the bathroom on the landing, okay, uh, and you can feel it in the floor, okay, uh, where there isn't quite enough is actually in my listening position, okay, um, and, uh, you know, uh, where it's, you know, too light and there's, there's, there's none at all is in the kitchen behind me, which is a right mess, I have to say. Um, so, um, I was hoping that, you know, the, the, the tweak of the cable would do something about that, okay? Now, it does make sense, you know, where a manufacturer makes hi-fi equipment and they make cable, it does actually make sense to use their own, okay? Because of the electrical characteristics, they can match them up, okay? So, um, you know, this cable, you know, it sounds great with Riga speakers, I have to say that. It really does sound great with Riga speakers, okay? Now, for my bass problem, bass sound waves are actually big, okay? Um, it does mean that if you're too close, you won't actually hear the bass, okay? That's why me standing out there um, next to the bathroom, that's why, that's why I can hear the bass there, okay? And in here, I couldn't, okay? Um, this... Um, Riga Duet cable does a much better job of controlling the bass, okay? Um, it's not an absolute night and day difference, okay? It is a tweak, okay? All right, the QED XT40 and the Riga cable are priced similarly, okay? Whereas I suspect that some of the money in this went on, you know, big thick rubber surround, okay? And perhaps I don't know what, what's inside cables i don't understand electronics but maybe you know you know the, the actual core uh the copper core in here wasn't necessarily of the same grade that's in rigas um you know there's definitely something okay to make them sound different okay um with the duet cable in okay the base is fuller where i actually sit okay and it's also very rhythmic, okay? Not only that, okay, but now I suspect um, that there's, uh, in fact, I don't suspect, I know that there is a, a, a little bit more detail going on in the treble. The QED XT40 does beautiful treble, okay? Or did beautiful treble with these, you know, RS5 speakers, okay? Um, but listening to this album here, Hope for the Hopeless, okay uh it's one of these albums that um can sound very brash okay i've used this i've taken this to hi-fi shops for demos because i know that it's very loudness ward um and you know it can sound very brash and tinny okay all right with the xd40 it didn't sound tinny okay uh, his voice was nice and thick and smooth and um uh, you know, the, the rhythm was, you know, bouncy enough, okay? With the duet cable in place, his voice is still nice and thick and smooth and textured, okay? There's no hard edges, and you know, I'm listening with an Apollo R CD player here uh, with the Dakar um, uh, uh, DAC thing. <coughs> Coming through an LXR amp, okay? Uh, you know, um, but yeah, uh, his voice is beautifully thick and textured, okay? Uh, there isn't the, uh, the, the brightness that I normally associate with this album, okay? But what there is is a heck of a lot more detail in the treble. I could hear some bells and things on the track San Francisco. I could hear some bells which, uh, you know, had... You know, they've probably been there with the XT40, but because of the extra control that this cable is having over the system, uh, it's, it, it, it's brought them more into sort of uh, focus, as it were. 
okay you can actually hear someone hitting them okay to make them uh kind of uh sound uh, as opposed to a just a a, a sort of kind of sound which you know might have been the case with the xc40 okay um on the track uh make you crazy which is track two because i've only had you know a, a fairly cursory list and i've done compare and contrast okay all right on, on the track make you crazy there's a bit more guitar in there than i thought that there was okay uh, just you know tiny little snatches there which i couldn't hear uh, as precisely with the xt40 that i could with the duet okay okay and, and underneath that there is you know lovely rhythmic sounding bass okay next up i played adam lambert two tracks from here um as you know i heard the rx ones uh, so the rx threes the riga rx3 speakers at audio t uh, listening to uh, never close our eyes which is track four on here and um outlaws of love which is track 12 on here okay and i was you know absolutely gushing over those rx3s uh playing this album okay uh and you know again you know there's the, it, it's the same thing really okay um the treble is controlled it's not shouty in your ears okay um but it's very very detailed okay the mid-range is wonderfully natural okay it lends great texture to his vocals and the bass is to die for it really is to absolutely die for via the duet okay um yeah the xt40 again it didn't do a bad job except that most of the bass was you know out there okay the, the duet is actually controlling the bass okay it's really controlling it okay um and you know so you can actually feel that sort of the rhythm you want to get up and dance okay it's wonderfully engaging to listen to absolutely incredibly engaging to listen to um yeah if there was a way that i could actually let you hear it i would okay but I, unfortunately just sticking a microphone into a room won't do it justice but you know it, it it's just it's just incredible you know uh, and i actually had to listen to a heck of a lot more of this album with the duet cable in because i just couldn't take it off okay so the track kicking in uh which is after never close our eyes is just you know so entertaining so entertaining you know that, and that bass is just you know it, it, it you can it's tuneful and it's it, it's muscular and it's there it's in this room it's where i listen to it for goodness sake so yeah you know it's you know really fabulous okay and you know this album here knitting sawney okay where you know it, it's a good recording and sounds like a good recording on anything okay get this album it will make your hi-fi sound really good okay it will make you know a decent hi-fi will make this sound even better but you know it's it it's well worth you know um having this album anyway okay and uh, as you all know my favorite track on here for hi-fi testing is the conference and you know it, it's just amazing just absolutely amazing again you know that stereo sort of flying around everywhere and it's absolutely crisp and clear via the rs5s the rs5s are a fantastic speaker they really are a fantastic speaker the sound is physical it's there you can grab it okay um uh, it images beautifully and it does it's, it's a remarkably civilized speaker okay um and uh you know all of those qualities and more with that duet cable it just brings the whole thing to life it's just you know it is a tweak okay it's a tweak so you know there's there's no way that i'm saying that this xt40 stuff is 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 bad cable it isn't it's good cable okay um and you know if you are sort of in the market for a system okay and uh, you're thinking right well you know what speaker cable do i do i get you do no harm by trying that cable okay um it's it's a couple of grades above bell wire okay as is the um the, the riga duet okay riga duet recommend that cable for all their speakers 
They don't have like, you know, a, a top grade, a middle grade and a lower grade as you would expect they would with any other sort of component in a hi-fi range. You know, so everything from the RS10s and RX7s down to the, you know, R, are they RX1s? Um, you know, it, it, they're saying use that cable with it. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it, it's just beautifully matched for Riga speakers. That's, that's, that's the difference. Okay. Uh, whereas, you know, if your hi-fi is made by a manufacturer that does not make cable, uh, something like that QED stuff is, is just brilliant. Okay. It's, it's good cable. Okay. Um, and again, you know, I, I don't want to come across as someone that this is a product, but I do not like NACA 5 cable for all of the reasons that I've sort of said, you know, in this video, you know, and it is about bass traps, okay? And I also found the, you know, the NACA 5 quite tizzy as well, okay? And it is all about bass traps, you know, uh, whatever room I've been in, I haven't found a room that, that would make it sound good. But then again, I don't use an, an other name equipment, okay? Name, when they invented NACA 5, and it was way back in the early 80s that they, that they made that, okay? They put on their amplifiers a guarantee that, you know, within that guarantee statement, um, if there were problems and that you hadn't been using name cable, i.e. NACA 5 cable, that, uh, you know, they wouldn't necessarily be able to honour all the guarantee because the two were made for one another, okay? Um, yeah, I, that might not be there now, that clause in the guarantee, but it does suggest that, again, like Riga making the duet to go with Riga stuff, okay? You know, the name cable is made for name amplifiers, okay? It's, 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 it's that simple, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's all you need to know, really, um, you know, there's a whole lot of you know voodoo and, and and myths about speaker cables. I don't want to get into too much of a debate about it. Okay, they are tweaks. They make a difference. They are not worth necessarily spending hundreds of pounds a meter. You can spend hundreds, even thousands of pounds a meter, on speaker cable. Okay, and uh, I don't necessarily think it's necessary. Okay, when I went to Audio T in Southampton and listened to the RP10 with the Afita cartridge on it, the first Afita has to be said, um, with the Illicit and these fantastic PMC speakers. Okay, uh, the the 2026 speakers. Okay, they used QED cable again, but it was a, a grade above. Uh, the stuff that I'm that I've been using, okay, and it was fifty pound a meter, and they said it warrants it, okay, the system warrants it, and yes, it does. I w I, I would have thought, you know, in, in that sense, it did because fifty pounds a meter is absolutely peanuts compared to you know even the price of the speakers, okay. Um, so, you know, it, it's it's the laws of diminishing returns, okay. Uh, even in you know, a, a, a multi, multi thousand pound hi-fi system set up, the amount that you need to spend on your, on your speaker cable is very, very low, okay? Um, and, you know, that really endeth the lesson, really. Um, I'm pleased with my Riga cable, okay? I will have to order some more and I'll buy it now um, at some point when I can, uh, when, uh, you know, Christmas has gone and I haven't entirely depleted my funds. Um, <laughs> but uh, <coughs> yeah, um, I will order some more now. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's working a treat. Okay, it's doing really well. Thank you very much, Riga. And, uh, you know, thank you all of you who've been watching my videos. Okay, um, if you like these videos, please put them about on the internet, chuck them on Twitter and stuff like that. Um, you know, even if you want to sit there and make fun of me and say, isn't he boring? And you tweet it round on, in, on, on the internet. Thank you very much anyway, because you are giving me an nth of a penny per uh, uh, person actually viewing these videos. Okay. And, uh, um, you know, that's helping me. Okay. All right. I don't get very much money at all from doing this YouTube stuff, but I do get some. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, 
I think you know you, you could probably count on one hand the payments that I've actually had from YouTube um, but I do get some okay and if you like it you can help me a little bit more you know if you've put a comment down the bottom of this video then uh, you know do please tweet it out as well okay uh, so that you know someone else might watch it okay all right thank you ever so much Merry Christmas to you all okay um, unfortunately <laughs> at the moment okay and um, I promise this is only going to last a few weeks but at the moment where my um, system is I cannot make my USB thing work I normally put up a, a, a Christmas uh, demonstration of the RP8 playing something nice and and suitably soppy for Christmas I can't do that at the moment because of where um, uh, of where the system is I can't get any cables to reach okay but early in the new year I will put something on for my RPA as well I promise okay all right okay Merry Christmas love you all and thank you Riga very much love you as well okay Mwah. love you guys